April 3, 2016, an extraordinary seismic shift rumbled through the world's financial landscapes. A consortium of investigative journalists unshackled the floodgates of a scandalous expose, laying bare the clandestine world of offshore financial dealings. A cache of 11.5 million documents, spanning over four decades, were leaked from the hushed files of Panamanian law firm Mossack Fonseca, exposing how the world's political and business elites, criminally implicated individuals and billionaires secretively shuffled their wealth across discrete tax havens. These are the Panama Papers. To untangle this widespread scandal, we must first acquaint ourselves with the central character, Mossack Fonseca, founded in 77 by Panama-based attorneys Jurgen Mossack and Ramon Fonseca. The company evolved into the fourth largest provider of offshore services worldwide. Their specialty was creating shell companies, impenetrable facades for clients to duck taxes and hide wealth, obscure transactions, or bypass international sanctions. How did the world get a peek behind these well-guarded curtains, you might wonder? An anonymous whistleblower operating under the common pseudonym John Doe divulged the extensive trove of papers to the German newspaper Süddeutsche Zeitung. Sorry, German friends, if I butchered that. The paper, realizing the sheer magnitude and implications of the cash, sought help from the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, or ICIJ for short. This marked the incipience of the largest collaboration in news history, involving over 400 journalists from 80 countries working quietly for a year. The staggering revelation rippled across international borders, inciting global intrigue and public outrage with documents revealing more than 214,000 offshore entities linked to over 200 countries. These entities cloaked years of financial transactions, synonymous with tax avoidance, tax evasion, corruption, and illicit criminal underworlds. A grim reality of layered financial intrigue emerged. World leaders, celebrities, sports stars, and uber-wealthy individuals exploiting secretive tax regimes. At the heart of the Panama Papers lie these offshore entities or shell companies. Essentially, a shell company is a corporate entity without any active business or significant assets, often used for its ability to manage funds, hold properties, or as an entity to undertake transactions while reducing tax liabilities. However, the nefarious use of these shell companies, as this leak showed us, is in creating a labyrinthine network of obscurity. To avoid scrutiny and maintain anonymity, individuals often used proxies called figureheads or nominees to run their shell corporations. The Panama Papers revealed a smorgasbord of soccer players, Hollywood stars, and well-known figures who acted as frontmen, hiding the true owners and raising alarming questions about the legitimacies of their wealth. Leadership integrity came under the microscope as the leaked files implicated an assortment of global leaders and public officials. Names included former British Prime Minister David Cameron, Russian dictator Vladimir Putin, Pakistan's then-Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, and the Icelandic Prime Minister Sigmundur David Gunnlaugsson, among others. Embroiled in the scandal, these leaders faced public derision, legal scrutiny, and in some instances, calls for resignation. The fallout from the leak was swift and in some cases quite dramatic. Gunnlaugsson resigned within days, making Iceland frontier grounds for the largest public demonstrations in its history. Mossack Fonseca's veneer of respectability shattered, and it folded operations in 2018. The firm insisted its operations were legal, with its founders even spending time behind bars. Yet the scandal's aftershock initiated crucial conversations around tax laws and global financial transparency. But this Pandora's box had more to offer. For the sports world, the revelations were startling, from star players to the highest echelons of FIFA. Three-time World Cup winner Lionel Messi surfaced in the papers linked with tax avoidance schemes. Michel Platini, former head of UEFA and suspended FIFA president Sepp Blatter, grappled with implications, further debasing FIFA's already tattered image. The world of glitz and glamour wasn't spared either. From Bollywood megastar Amitabh Bakchan to the Godfather director Francis Ford Coppola, notable figures in entertainment found themselves in the eye of the storm. While many argued their investments were legal, the reputational damage was extensive. The controversy triggered discussions on the moral implications of tax evasion, particularly by those commanding public influence. The papers characteristically highlighted one core issue, the global disparity in wealth distribution. By pulling back the curtain on how the wealthy avoid taxes, it sparked worldwide debates about wealth inequality. 
countries scrambled to close tax loopholes and increase transparency. Yet, it underlined an uncomfortable truth. In a world that often struggles with poverty and scarce resources, an opaque financial system allowed the rich to get richer while dodging public accountability. In the wake of the revelations, nations around the globe began jumping to respond. Germany spearheaded a push for greater financial transparency in the EU. The British Virgin Islands, a notorious tax haven, pledged external audits. The U.S. began revisiting its financial laws while Australia and New Zealand launched investigations. The United Nations even convened a panel to study how financial secrecy impacts general human rights. The leak revealed disturbing truths about our global financial system. Juxtaposing the painstaking emergence of regulatory frameworks with the extent of tax evasion, it foregrounded the stark inequalities defining our world. While some countries hunkered down to evaluate their financial regulations, others remained reticent. The far-reaching implications continue to unfold, culminating in legislative changes, courtroom battles, and a heightened public awareness of wealth inequality. The legal transgressions underlying the scandal hover in judged courts, while the moral weight of the Panama Papers debacle is being assessed in the court of public opinion. The social, political, and economic implications have ricocheted all over our world, providing stark lessons and a looming reminder that persistent financial secrecy aids immoral and illegal behavior. With repercussions that are felt globally, the Panama Papers will long serve as a testament to the world's battle against secret wealth, shady dealings, and the urgency for financial integrity. As we sign off from this dive into the murky world of offshore finance, we leave you to ruminate on the significance of the Panama Papers. In unveiling the simultaneous simplicity yet complex ramifications of the scandal, we hope to have shown a light on a systemic problem that persists in the shadows. We should steer the conversation to our leading governments to incorporate the necessary changes, as remember that the victims are the average person struggling in their daily lives, just trying to survive.